Hello guys, thank you for tuning in to Tony Solo's Mix Up Video of the Week. And today, this is something special that I want to talk to you guys about. And that is self-acceptance. And coming into your own self, I have to tell you that it's a long journey. And just because I've come to self-acceptance within myself does not mean that, I, that it's done for me. What I'm here to do is to give you the guys, give you guys the insights into what a, will allow you to come into self-acceptance faster so you can shortcut all the years that you'll have to go through. I mean, it's taking me a long time, so listen up. The main thing that I noticed along my journey is that I was afraid of sitting in the tension of being who I am. That's what the, the main thing I ran up against, and I know that you guys run up against this a lot because this is something that a person will run up against when they're trying to go down the road of who am I and how can I accept who I am. The main thing they'll go through is, okay, I don't want to be what other people want me to be. I want to be exactly who I am and have other people accept that. Well, have me accept that and me love that. But to get away from the thing that's been holding on to you, which is the egotistical view of yourself or others holds on you of who they want you to be and you living up to that. For you to let this go, you must be willing to sit in the tension of the middle ground. And the middle ground is, I don't want to be that anymore. I want to be who I am. So you have to learn how to sit in the middle ground between that, who you are and what you think you are. Once you sit in the middle ground of that, then you start to gather the strength to move toward who you are. That middle ground, so to speak, is where I lived for so many years. I lived there because I, I would always say to myself, I want to be who I am, but at the same time, I'm scared. I want to be who I am, but at the same time, I think that being who I am would make other people not like me. And it always was, I want to do this, but what if others? I want to do this, but what if they see me like this? And every single time that I had this, this teetering towards this way and this way and that way and that way, it never ever led me to understanding and coming to and living through who I am. And it left me in so much pain. It did. It, for, 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 for so many years, really. And it wasn't up until recently, um, this year really, that I just started to move through those phases that I was going through of, I want to be like this, but at the same time, I really want to be like this. You know, I want other people to accept me, but at the same time, other people don't have to accept me. And once I started to start committing myself, I literally started to commit myself to, okay, what do I want to express? What do I want to be? what am I truly wanting to show the world and what the fuck am I afraid of about these things that I want to show okay I'm afraid of truly showing truly showing my truth because my truth may make other people not like me I'm a, truly afraid of showing my truth because I may lose my friends I'm truly afraid of um, showing the depths of my heart because it may it may show that I'm weak and, 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 I, and I'm always really loving and, and, and soft and, and sweet and, and I was wondering okay how can I just be on this side and keep my attention here? So after I was like, all right, I don't want the middle ground anymore. I don't want the teetering. I just want to be here. This when I had to start sitting in a different type of tension. And I started to sit, have to sit in the tension of who I am. So what the paradox is, is that once you start really accepting who you are, you actually have a tension that goes with that. And the tension that goes with that is you have to be willing to accept what's going to happen through you doing the things you want to do, you saying the things you want to say, you being who you are. You have to deal with the tension that comes with that. And the tension that comes with that is other people calling you names, other people really not liking you, you having to, you know, remove yourself from people's lives who no longer are benefiting you. People start to look at you in a very different way. Your friends might actually walk away. It's all these things that you have to learn to sit with by being who you are. So when I committed myself to, okay, I really want to start expressing what I'm going to express, my whole life fucking changed. It completely took a whole uh, 180 because I completely started to see 
this is the thing that I want to express and this is the way that it's making others feel some others because everybody that has a different effect on but what I noticed on this side of me expressing who I want to be it is pulling people to me who love me for this I don't want people who love me for the middle ground I don't want people who love me for being who they want me to be I want people who love me for being who I am and that's really what it is you, you must start making a commitment to okay I want to start being who I am and I'm okay with the tension that comes with that which means <clears throat> I want to express the things I want to express I want to say that <clears throat> I want to say the things and, 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 and show emotions I want to act in a way that I want to act <clears throat> I want not to be afraid of my own little weird things that I like to do and I must be okay at the same time with the tension of me doing all those things that is the shift the shift is are you okay with sitting in the tension of who you really are and having others not agree with not like not accept that person and it all changes after you do that and it all changed for me that's why I'm giving you this insight Tension, you must build a great relationship to it. If you ever want to grow, be strong on the inside. If you ever want to really accept who you are and start living freely from who you are, you must be okay with the harshness that comes with it sometimes. It's difficult. It is fucking hard. It is. It's difficult, man. It is very difficult for you to be who you are and have that person not be accepted because you're like okay I went through all these things and I'm still not accepted by my friend I'm still not accepted by the girl that I actually really want I'm still not accepted by my mom you damn right you may not be but you know what what you do get you get who you get yourself and you also get people into your life you draw people into your life who love you for you who want to be around you who want you to do your little weird things you like to do who wants you to express yourself in the way you want to express yourself who value you when you do that and don't value you when you try to be something that you're not so what I would say is to start to go down this road of like okay sitting in who you are the first thing is become okay become completely okay with being imperfect not perfect imperfect not perfect become okay with not being perfect one of the things that can screw a person up or, or a man up in his life the most is the want for perfection is the want to be a perfect man is the want to show a perfect way of being is the want to speak with perfection every time act with perfection never fuck up never make a mistake this is his Achilles heel you must learn how to be live in and love imperfection once I started to come to okay I don't have to be perfect and walking up to a woman I don't have to be perfect and speaking this way I don't have to be perfect with always being um, in alignment I don't have to be perfect with all the things that I want to do I don't have to be perfect and I think guys they strive towards perfection maybe you are too you're striving towards perfection and you'll never get there never you will never ever get there the only thing you ever could be perfect at is being imperfect you can only ever be perfect at being imperfect because you will always be that you will always be a person that is imperfect so never try to strive towards something that you'll never be you're deluding yourself and guys who have a very analytical mind guys who are engineers they move in a direction in their life where they're always trying to be in a zone where they just have everything together and they want to know the formula so they can never fuck up because if once they know the formula they'll learn the formula and learn it and learn it and learn it and they have to worry about fucking up but when it comes to personal change when it comes to changing your heart when it comes to changing the way you think when it comes to changing your power your sexuality any of these things you have to understand that you will mess up you will screw up you will go down this path and you will start to think to yourself why can't I just do the thing right and guess what? The moment you stop wanting to do the thing right, the moment you stop needing to do the thing right, you'll start doing it. Screw up. Laugh at yourself. Have fun along the way. Do something wrong and just be like, oh man, that was fucking weird. Why did I do that? 
Start to take the joy in just fucking up. Start taking the joy in it. That's the thing that uh, I had to learn as well. It's just, okay, you know what? I, that, I wasn't perfect saying that. I wasn't perfect uh, going into that interaction. I wasn't perfect, you know, being in front of him. I wasn't perfect, you know, trying to do this thing. Stop trying to be perfect. You can never be that. Let go of your, your perfectionist ways, meaning be willing to screw up and be okay with that. That's what it means. Want to screw up because guess what? Through your own screwing up, you learn. You learn and even when you learn, you'll still screw up. <laughs> So imperfection is definitely the way. And coming to that, you'll start to feel at ease more in yourself. Because you start to get all the tension off your own self for doing everything right. You start to feel like your shoulders can just relax a little bit more. You start to feel like you can just lean back a little bit more. And it gives you the chance to breathe again to relax. Yeah. I would say another thing for you guys to learn along the way is to start to intellectually comprehend right now is to never try to be a set of values. Never try to be a set of characteristics. Never. Don't try to be a set of values or characteristics. Don't try to be. If you try to be, you will notice that you have a lot of tension around it. you'll notice that in your trying to be, you have so much stress. And you're trying to be confident, you have a lot of stress. And you're trying to be a man who, who, who definitely has it, you know, a, a mission in life, you'll feel a lot of stress. You know, not the man who actually, the, the characteristic of having that, mean like a man who always knows what he wants, that's gonna bring you stress. A man who's trying to be, uh, strong that's gonna bring you stress and what do I mean by this you know how you wake up and you start do, to do affirmations and you're like I'm strong I'm sexy I'm powerful where do, where are you feeling at just tell me when you say those things I have, a, I have a, this is something for you to, to really look into when you start saying affirmations where are you saying these affirmations from a lot of times you'll notice that you're trying to say it to fill it because you really want these things in your life. But something that you don't know, and this is something I want you to know, is that you're already that which you are trying to be. You're already that which you are trying to induce in yourself. You're already that which you are trying to learn. You're already that which you are trying to put on. You're already that which you are trying to express. You just got to get used to expressing that part about yourself. That's it. I am confident. What about the times when you're not confident? You start to think, oh my God, I say it to myself every single day that I'm confident, but what happens at the times when I'm not confident? I am powerful. What happens at the times when you're not powerful? Let go of these trying to be this set of values or these characteristics. If you let these things go, you'll find who you are. Literally. If you let go of trying to be something that you think that you should be or you think that others want you to be, then you'll find yourself. And it's scary to let go, it is. I must say, it is very scary for you to let go, but this is the only route that you can take to true self-acceptance. This is what I would say. When you let go, of the characteristics and the values that you think that you should be or you think that you should have. And you start to rediscover yourself from a place of total let go, which means a total place of emptiness. When you start to discover yourself from a place of emptiness, this is when you're going to start to understand what I'm going to tell you now. Focus on expressing what comes to, through you 
moment to moment only. Let me say it again. Focus only on expressing yourself and what comes through you moment to moment. As you start to express yourself, as you start to be who you are, as you start to, from a place of emptiness, say something, do something, you will notice that that action, that thing you said, is the most powerful that it could be. Because there's nothing attached to it. When you are trying to be a set of values or characteristics, there is something attached to it. If I become this, I'll, be, I'll get that. If I'll do this, then, I'll, then that'll happen. If I say this, then this will happen. I'm a person, so let's say that, let's give me, let's, let me give you an example. If you say to yourself every single day that I'm a strong person, I'm a strong person, I'm a strong person. And you said it in, in, the, in, the, in the morning as an affirmation or something like that. What will happen is that you'll walk throughout your day and you will try in every situation to be strong. You will try. Your brain will try to find evidence. You will try to be strong in every situation. You will try to be. Even in situations where you can just coax and just not have to show strength and just completely be vulnerable, but you don't know that vulnerability in itself is being who you are. And if you let go of strength, then you actually have strength. So when you're saying you're to yourself during the day in these situations, all right, um, I'm strong in this situation. And you feel like in that moment, because these things, because I used to do affirmations as well, these things come up inside of you where you're just like, I'm strong. And then you go out and you go into a situation and you feel like, okay, in this situation, I'm strong. And then the next situation, you don't feel as strong. But then you probably say to yourself in that moment to just reiterate, I'm strong. And now you're trying to convince yourself. And in this situation, it's not about trying to be strong. It's about completely letting go and being vulnerable to the situation. And that's when true strength will start to really build. It is so crazy when I start to get these insights about what true self-acceptance comes from. It doesn't come from doing affirmations. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that any fucking more. I don't. I have no interest in doing it. I used to do it strongly because I didn't feel like I was strong on the inside. But the moment I stopped trying to be strong and I just totally let go and I came from a place of emptiness and situations, that's when strength started to, start to show up inside of me. And what does strength mean to me? Just the ability to sit in tension that used to scare you. Your ability to just stay there in a situation and just be even when you don't want to be. And you start to gather strength from that. And then now the situation, when it happens again, you're strong to that situation. But guess what? There's going to constantly be situations in your life as you go through your life that you're going to have to sit, sit in. And then you gain strength from those situations. And overall, as a person, you just become a person that has strength. Because you've been through a lot and you've sat in many situations that other people would run from. So you gain more strength than others. Focus on expressing yourself in the ways that you want to. Focus on being able to express the things that comes through you and let go completely of the characteristics or values that you try to live up to. And when you do that, you start to understand that you are not one thing, you are everything. Which means that you're not this expression, you're not this expression, you're not that expression. You're not any expression that comes through you. It just expresses through you and you're everything. You are pain. You are sadness. You are emotion. You are hurt. You are happiness. You are love. You are glee. You are frustration, you are anger. Blah, 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 blah. You're all of them. You're not one thing, you're everything. And it's so crazy that I used to think to myself that when I was anger, oh, that's not me. When I was fucking expressing myself and, and, and I wanted to express anger, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to express that. That's not me. When I want to intensely say something, I'm like, oh, that's not me. That's not me. When I, when I first started experimenting with being dominant in the bedroom, oh, that's not me. All these times we just become constricted like that's not me. 
And what you don't know is that you're not, you're everything, bro. You're everything. Or, or a girl, you're everything. You're fucking everything. You are every single thing. And in learning that you're everything, you'll start to express everything. In learning that you're everything, your whole way of being will completely change. You'll start to notice that sometimes you are scared. You'll start to notice that sometimes you are insecure. Sometimes you're uncertain. You start to notice that sometimes you're really fucking powerful. You're really fucking happy. You're really fucking confident. You're everything. Accept that. Accept that you're everything and also accept that you're nothing. Because it's from clear space inside of yourself where these things start to become expressed. The only thing to this is don't start reacting to life or reacting to others and say, it's just me. I'm just being me. It's just me. No. I'm talking about this whole video that comes from a clear place. Expressing yourself from a clear place, which means that it has no attachment to it. Reaction has attachment. Expressing this from a clear place. Expressing love from a clear place. And anything that's expressed from a clear place, it has no attachment and that means that it moves with a velocity that it needs to move with. If something is expressed purely for what it is, it will always have an impact. Always. I don't care, I don't care what emotion it is. It will always have an impact because it's fully expressed and it has no stoppage, it has no pulling to it. There's no, it's just going. It is completely just going to where it needs to go. And you'll start to feel a certain peace come over you, like I have. You know, I'm not sitting here as a man that's just like, oh man, I just got it all together. No, I definitely don't have it all together, man. I don't. I don't have it all together. And I will never try to be a man who has it all together. And I never want you to be a man who thinks that he has it all together, because you never will. You will if, as long as you're committing to growing, you will never have it all together. Never. And just accept that. Roll with it, make love to that and love it, and love it, and love it, and love it. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyle saying bye-bye uh, from Chicago. And the next three weeks, I just wanna let you guys know that the frequency of videos that I'll be putting out will become less over just the next three weeks. But at the start of the year, I'm back rolling with four a week. But I just know these next weeks, I'm going into you know doing my product, and at the same time, it's the holidays, so I gotta spend time with my family, and I see you guys next week, in a week after, in a week after, and then in a new year, we'll see what happens. Well.